Good day, my friends. This is El Bandito, and I am here to show you my first ever multiplayer battle of Rome 2. And my opponent here is Skippy. He is from Total War Heaven Forums. I am a long time member of that forum. It's filled with nice people. You guys should definitely check it out. And, uh, well. Skippy here is uh, one of the most well-known former and moderator of that place and he's uh, a very nice guy he's also an Aussie which is awesome to be fair I think all Australians are nice people with the exception of Rupert Murdoch anyway I'm trembling with excitement as you can see uh, this is my first time and uh, hell it's my first time in playing online of any Total War game. I wanted to do, I mean play Total War game online with people since the original to Rome Total War. But in Mongolia, well, we did not have good connection at that time. And only recently after I got married, I got myself good enough computer and good enough computer, I mean internet connection. To play it online just in time for Rome 2 to come out which is good well since I only played Epirus in my single-player games I'm going to start with the army of Epirus uh, I'm trying to fit as many soldiers as I can with the 10,000 gold which we agreed on playing with and uh, <laughs> I have no idea what my opponent's uh, faction Carthage holds. I from the old Rome Total War, I know that Carthage is famous for its war elephant. So I am very sure that Skippy also wants to bring some elephants. And I also know that uh, elephants are weak against javelins, so I'm gonna bring a couple of Tarantine cavalry, which are javelin throwing cavalry, to harass those elephants and hopefully kill them. Here we go, Epirus versus Carthage. Anybody betting on the outcome? Well, soon you'll find out very soon my friends and well this uh, battles are uh, battle is uh, loading pretty fast we should be able to join it very soon and to see just how sucky I am when compared with live opponents you know as opposed to easily exploitable AI and uh, here we go so I have to wait for the other player to finish loading. All right. One thing I noticed was that, uh, like, uh, maybe it was a bad idea for me to put the graphic on really high. I believe I put it on extreme uh, for my single player walkthrough. But uh, here, as you can see, in multiplayer, um, I'm having significant amount of lag and I wish to change the graphics, but obviously you can't do it from here. Hmm, I think, I believe in Medieval 2, you were able to do it uh, during multiplayer matches. I think, maybe, just maybe. Anyway. I'm going to use the standard formation, slingers in the front, uh, cavalry on the flanks, and uh, yeah, here we go. Just the six, I like even numbers, so they'll have the equal amount of units on both sides. And hopefully those cavalries on the right side are hidden by the trees. I can never know. And this is my uh, trump card, uh, fixed artillery, fixed 
Ballista, huge ballista, which is protected by these phalanx units with impressive looking pikes for defense. These Tarantine cavalry, which I will be used to hunt elephants, should be placed close to my general because I believe the enemy will try to use its use his elephants against my general. Uh, I think uh, generals, I mean uh, cavalry units, uh, run away from elephants really fast. Hmm. So, here we go. Let me just group up these units so I can access my cavalry very quickly. And I uh, used the uh, key binding to change their special abilities on F1, F2, and F3. It's something I never did it before and uh, I hope I will learn to use them during multiplayer battle. See, as you can see, it's in quick reloads on F1 and others Ready are F1 orders. to F2. I mean, quick reloads on F3. And these Tarantine Cavalry, they seem to use Flaming Shot in, as well as Standard I'm Shot. So I'm going to use Flaming Shot as Flaming Shot spook elephants very fast. Also from my experience from the previous Total War. Okay, I believe I'm just about done here. So let's just tell the guy Skippy that I'm ready. Oh man, I wanted to play with this guy for the longest time. Well, now I can. There are tons of other cool people in Total War Heaven forums, on especially on Rome and Medieval Total War forums. I want to play with all of them. And by gods, I will. So help me, Ares. Now these uh, huge uh, ballista will uh, try to... Is, just, is there for the uh, intimidation purpose only. It's... it's Simply if they're for breaking up enemy formations such as this. See, it can easily reach the enemy, its range. And when I use flaming rounds, it will make the enemy very nervous. And hopefully uh, force them to move out of position and break up his formation. I know it worked in the first Total War game. I played uh, a lot of land games in the first the Rome Total War game. Needless to say, uh, my fellow gamers in Mongolia didn't offer as many as much challenge as I hoped, but uh, they weren't as interested in Total War games as me, so couldn't blame them. They were busy playing Dota back then. Okay. I'm a lousy shot, so let's try this again. I believe if I do some manual fire, I can get more accuracy than the random path the computer shoots. Or no. Unfortunately, I shoot just as bad as the AI. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wrong button. Okay. I need to manage my other uh, troops so I need to get out of the manual shooting position and just see where the enemy is heading they ha he has lots of melee infantry mercenary Iberian uh, swordsmen and uh, hoplites as well as mercenary Numidian cavalry I I have no idea what many of these units are capable of Though I believe the swordsmen are very good at taking out spear arm infantry and Carthaginian hoplites should be as equal as Greek hoplites, as, uh, as good as Greek hoplites and the Numidian cavalry I believe are skirmish cavalry, just like the previous games. Okay, okay, I'm a lousy shot. Okay, I'm a lousy shot. Maybe I should just leave the shooting to the AI. Okay. The game is lagging quite a bit, you can't see it, but uh, it is quite lagging, probably due to my uh, 
graphics being turned up so high I should turn it down back to medium or even low next game oh here we go as I said before I knew Skippy was going to use elephants I'll focus fire on those guys as long as they get into my range hmm a clean miss but it's okay it's okay it's driving Skippy into action my artillery which is why I brought it I realized that there are many people who hate facing artillery in multiplayer battles uh, doesn't matter if it's this Rome total war or even medieval whatever in the lobby there are lots of no artillery rules and I believe it is pretty silly for people to be scared of artillery I mean it's not like Napoleon where the artillery has unlimited ammunition in, uh, artillery here has very limited ammunition and uh, as long as you play it smart and uh, force the enemy to shoot you from extreme distance like what I'm doing now uh, most of the artillery rounds will s simply harmlessly you know bounce away from your enemy oh except in cases like this where I actually hit um, slow moving cavalry units are your best targets because uh, cavalry units have, are big and tall they're easily hit by artillery as long as they're just moving slowly if they're on a, in a full gallop then don't even try to hit them with artil artillery unless you're again playing Napoleon to war okay the enemy had divided his um, cavalry units and most of his cavalry are going flanking uh trying to flank my left hand side while um, some light cavalry as well as the elephants are going to attack me from the right I'll uh, first let my skirmishers to move forward to receive the enemy hopefully if the enemy attacks my skirmisher they will break their formation even further there is his general if I can take out that the un cal enemy cavalry on the left hand side I will cause severe morale penalty to the enemy however my default three cavalry units on the left hand side are not numerous enough to deal with them I need to reinforce them However, I can't really reinforce them without compromising my right flank, so... And they, they uh, ran out of my uh, fixed artillery range. Fixed artillery can only shoot straight forward, so... They can't uh, sh turn to the sides. That's what one of their disadvantages to offset their third shift twice. I'm going to move my general <laughs> towards the inner side of my uh, formation because I don't want him to get cut so early and kill. The enemy is not really moving fast, they're taking their time. So I have plenty of time to counter, mo counter their moves by swapping my Tarantine cavalry with, the, with my own... Um, Hellenic Royal Cavalry because uh, enemy elephants are on the right side my Tarantine Cavalry should be able to beat them as long as they're not caught meanwhile I'm going to let a couple of my Hellenic Royal Cavalry best cavalry in Greece to move and support my general my left flank will be the deciding factor of this battle Meanwhile, the enemy javelin men are under heavy attack by my uh, slingers. The Skippy only brought three units of javelin men, which is not really good for missile duel actually. Okay, I'm going to reposition my royal cavalry to better receive the enemy. And my cavalry are changing position.
Okay. Yeah, the elephants are slowly approaching me, which is just fine. I do not want to face those enemy elephants so much, so early in the game. Okay. One of their uh, javelin men, oh, two of their javelin men has rafted and I'm going to manually order my slingers to attack the melee units, enemy melee units while pulling back. As you can see, it is lagging quite a lot. Ah, so the enemy is attacking. They're making a charge. I'm going to use all of its available uh, special abilities to counter charge the enemy. My general has uh, war cry and intimidate, which will, which both lowers the enemy morale, and that's something I will use during the cavalry clash. Hopefully, I'll be able to crash his cavalry before his uh, main army of tons of swordsmen and hoplites come out. Okay, I'm going to use my general's unit to flank the enemy cavalry. Meanwhile, my Tarantine cavalry are leading away his en enemy elephants, so... I just intimidated one enemy, hopefully his morale, his general's morale will be crushed soon. And my reinforcing Hellenic cavalry are finally arriving to help the fight. His Numidian cavalry are, uh, well, simply just throwing javelins, so that's fine. I do not know these merc mercenary Iberian cavalry, how good they are. I hope they're, they're pretty bad at fighting, I'm not sure. See, that's the problem when you first play multiplayer games, it's that you don't know all, what all the units do and their stats, stats and what is good against them, blah blah. But what I do know is that uh, my units are getting its ass kicked in on the right flank, on my right flank. Because uh, the enemy elephants are already joining the fray. On the left hand side, they're doing pretty well. My cavalry is uh, beating Skippy's own cavalry. All the while, Skippy had uh, spread his infantry. A uh, couple of them are moving towards the cavalry battle, while most of them are moving towards my center formation. On the right flank, my units, one of my units have rafted and the rest are just trying to disengage the enemy. I cut this mercenary Iberian, Iberian cavalry out of, con out of uh, formation, so I'm going to just keep letting him <coughs> Uh, move out of position while I try to desperately hold off the center formation. Well, it seems my uh, cavalry had finished off Skippy's uh, outnumbered cavalry on the left flank, made them rout, so I had to get the hell out of there before uh, enemy infantry arrives and kicks my ass. Skippy is very smart, he's uh, attacking my cavalry with his spear armed infantry, so I have to get out of there. I ordered my Tarantine cavalry to attack the elephants. Uh, one of them already rafted. Jeez, they, they rafted faster than I thought. I was hoping to let them stick around and kill the enemy elephants with their javelins, but can't really count on them this time, it seems. I also cut one of his Numidian cavalry, and uh, now I'm going to reorganize my cavalry, because they're spread to hell and gone, and uh, let's see, uh, where, 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 I, I'm sorry if there is not enough zooming action, because I'm really busy trying to micromanage everything here. Now, let's see, um, ah, there we go, 
my cavalry is finally trying to reform meanwhile enemy center is giving away because uh, even though they uh, outnumbered my own pikemen like pikemen's phalanx defense is actually very solid you won't be able to easily uh, crush it all the while they're trying to crush my uh, pikemen I you ordered my uh, slingers to shoot the enemy infantry from behind and now I'm uh, see just like that which uh, really heavily contributed to their rafting and I'm going to I have seen an isolated unit so I'm going to charge him from multiple directions hopefully this one they will raft easily yeah there we go come on I should be able to catch it flat-handed there we go hopefully that managed to route them oh yep they're definitely definitely wavering uh, good good even though they are spear armed being charged for a multiple direction definitely has huge effect on their morale these Numidian cavalry are annoying as hell because I really can't catch them with my current cavalry enemy had pretty much captured my uh, original point uh, right next to uh, the huge onagers but no worries I still have more numbers than them and uh, my cavalry units are more importantly intact so it really doesn't matter how many infantry units he have left as long as my skirmishers and cavalry are okay in numbers I can whittle them down and charge them from multiple directions for uh, you know for a chance of victory besides infantry battle is never my forte I uh, I never uh, did well with just pure infantry battle I much prefer to use cavalry to charge the enemy down or use uh, skirmishers to whittle down their number first okay Scrippy is trying to charge me with his elephants but I think he forgot to put them put the, uh, put the elephants on run mode they're just walking over there well enemy is running everywhere except for this guy on the left hand side I'm going, just going to charge him again from multiple directions and see how it goes I sent a uh, few reinforcements towards my right flank I mean they kept uh, fleeing but hopefully this time they'll be able to finish up this remaining African elephants of Carthage alright okay it's time for me to wrap this up Skippy has one one uh, uh, very good uh, melee units left so I, I'll just charge it from multiple direction to crash it alright Okay, my units are in position for a charge. Okay, my units uh, have split up very nicely, so I believe I'm ready for a charge. The hoplites, they can't do much because my skirmishers are harassing the hell out of them so that's definitely a good thing however 
trouble is coming from behind. Skippy's big war elephants are currently targeting my rear. And my uh, catapults can't reach it because it just can't turn around. Alright, time for charge. And time for the skirmishers try to kill the elephant. Alright, as you can see, the enemy is routing in before my charge is complete. It's routing because it probably knows it has no chance of winning anymore. Oh, that's just fine for me. So the enemy is just simply running away. Well, this is a GG. Uh, it was kind of tense when he took on my right flank, but it was my left flank and my skirmishers that just carried the day. Good game, Skippy. Good game. Okay, let's take a look at the casualty screen. And it's not bad, not bad at all. You can see that my slingers had huge impact on the enemy team and uh, so are my cavalry. They really carried the day. Surprisingly my uh, huge ballista also killed over 100 people while my Tarantine cavalry turns out to be useless. Maybe they got cut early. But overall it was a very fun game. I learned a lot of new things and I hope I play it more with Skippy.